kindly please tell me who you are and what you do. I'm the so Secretary General of the Commonwealth. My name is Kamlesh Sharma. How could the Commonwealth use soft power to further its objectives? Commonwealth has been helping with that. The, the, the philosophy behind Commonwealth engagement is to strengthen national capabilities. In the end, sustainability and durability of gains in the areas of the rule of law, of good governance and human rights must come from what the society is able to do for itself. So our concentration always is in building the institutions to be able to do it. The most important, of course, is the human rights institutions. We have the most active and the most vibrant global association of national human rights associations. Peer level learning from what is happening elsewhere uh, successfully is one of the most important ingredients of confidence that you have, that we have been created to do a similar thing and we can do it better. Um, election commissions, judicial services commissions, parliaments, all of these are absolutely central to the work of the Commonwealth in creating resilience, moving away from vulnerability in our member states. If you like, you can describe it as soft, soft power, but these invisibles in the end are what gives the, uh, the substance to a society and uh, to advancement. Could festivals like Beyond Borders, which brings together diplomats, journalists, artists, peacemakers, could that be helpful in resolving conflict, do you think? It certainly is very important in creating awareness of a Commonwealth community and a global community and the fact that you can network by meeting each other a lot can be gained from that experience itself. I'm very happy and very grateful that in the Edinburgh Festival this year there is a focus on the Commonwealth. I think in Scotland it is entirely appropriate. Scotland in fact has held in Edinburgh, uh, summit of our leaders, heads of governments, and it was a very successful one in 1997 when the decision, for instance, was taken to create the Commonwealth Business Council and how to involve the private sector. Scotland is also uh, remarkable in having hosted two Commonwealth Games, once in Edinburgh and once recently in Glasgow. There are many activities which we do in our networking. We are very proud of our convening power. The Commonwealth family is as important as the intergovernmental framework of the Commonwealth. We have 90 odd bodies active. Universities are extremely important in this framework. We have Commonwealth scholarships and fellowships program the Association of Commonwealth Universities. And in Scotland, the tradition of education, the tradition of thinking, the tradition of the rule of law, and how to strengthen the rule of law, all of these are such central aspects of the work of the Commonwealth that surely anything which advances this kind of networking uh, within Scotland is a very helpful thing. Thank you. And so you see Scotland could play a more positive role both in the Commonwealth and in the world in general. We are a networked world. One of the good things, of course it cuts both ways, but one of the good things that has happened is that through communications you are able to connect with each other. So we have to now develop the positives which can be gained from this, this possibility. We are a far-flung organization. We have members in the Caribbean, members in the Pacific, in Africa, in Asia. We have small states, with more than 30 small states with populations of a million and a half. We have emerging states, some of the biggest states in the world. 
like India and Australia, two of the biggest in Africa, Nigeria and South Africa. So we are really a microcosm of the whole world. And getting together through digit, digital means and the means of communication made available to us means that we can redefine the convening power of the Commonwealth. And Scotland can play an enormous role in this because of what it has done for itself and uh, the, particularly in the rule of law area and education, what it is that can contribute to the Commonwealth body as a whole. I hope that more and more entities from Scotland will be able to log on on all the work that we are doing. We already have um, hubs being created in election. The election one is up and running, doing extremely well. The next one is on environment. Health is about to be launched. Health is one of the oldest traditions in, in medical science, actually is from Scotland. Education is coming up as well. And the oldest tradition, of course, not just Scottish Enlightenment, but also respect for education as an essential attribute of a person is so strong here. So I'm hopeful that when these hubs are up and running, and some of them are, Scotland would be one of the main drivers.